Hi everyone, welcome to tip seven of our top 12 interactive Lynx whiteboard tips. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make an interactive diagram. So I want to do a diagram all about a Roman legionary and the equipment that they would carry. So I've been doing a bit of research with the help of the content area in Lynx, mainly the media search, and I typed in Roman legionary diagram and I found a really great image. It's going to be the image I'm going to use uh, that the children can label. And I've got a bit of research there. And uh, looking in here, I can see there's another diagram here that I think will help me too. So now that I've got my research, I now need to decide what my labels are going to be and I need to type those in. So if I was using links um, in the app on our impact screens, then of course my keyboard will come straight up and I would just type them in. But teachers will probably be doing this at home on their laptops, so I'm gonna head over to my laptop and start to type my labels for this uh, Legionnaire. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some uh, text boxes. So I'll come to my text area. I've got some styles that I set. I'm gonna select the Open Sans one. Just click somewhere on the screen and we'll start to make a label. Now, what's nice is I can go to the three dots and I can make some duplicates of that label. You'll see why in a moment. I'm going to make six copies, so I'll have six labels. And I'll just stretch these out a little bit, give myself some room. There we go. And I can start filling in some of these others as well. So I'll just go with the... Uh, sort of English words that we use for each feature for now. Uh, let's drag over there. Oh, if I can click in there, there we go. There's also a dagger. Uh, we can label his sandals. And we'll do his armor. So we're just keeping it nice and basic just for the purposes of this video. Just stretch that over so it's all on one line. So there are my uh, six labels. So I've got my uh, six labels. I've got the image that I want to label as well. And I can now get rid of the two diagrams that help me do this research. So to do that, I can select the item, drag it down to the bin. And I can also go to the three dots here and select the bin there as well. So I want to put these uh, labels into a box that the children will then move out. So to do that, I'm going to add a shape. So there is an insert shape area here. I'm just going to choose a color for that shape. I can even go to the wheel here and, and tailor that a little bit, make it a little bit lighter maybe, um, and select the shape that I want. And I can just drag it straight onto the screen. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I want to send it to the background layer because I don't want that to be movable or anything. So I'm going to go to Arrange and Transform and send it to the background layer. Now I'm going to exit the background. It might be an idea to send the actual picture into the background as well so that the children aren't accidentally messing around with it. So again, Arrange and Transform and Background. So the labels now, I'm going to pick all of these six labels up just go to the crosshairs here so I can move all six of them at once and there they are. So I can mess around with those and resize them if I, if I want to and reposition them. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of that. And uh, move armor down there. Sandals there. Sword. Really nice to do on a touch screen but just as easy as well on your uh, laptop too and less likely to wobble probably. Now, all those six labels, I need them to be movable so when the children are interacting and labeling the diagram, they can obviously you know, pick them up. So I'm now going to select all these six and I'm gonna go back to the three dots menu and this time we're just going to select editable while presenting and that means they'll be movable in presentation mode. Now I need the actual arrows on the things that we're going to label. So to do that, we can go to the content area, but this time, instead of looking in the media search, 
we're going to go to the local content here and there's a shapes folder with an arrow in so i'm just going to drag out an arrow and leave it there and we don't need that again even though i want six arrows of course i can just replicate this one also i'm going to change how it looks so i'd rather that the arrow was red sort of match the uh, uh, roman legionnaire's uh, cloak and so on and i think the back the line color could be a nice thick black there as well just make that a little bit thicker but not too thick okay perfect and now because i want six of these i'm just going to keep tapping on the three dots and the replicate icon until i've got six of those and now i, I just need to position these around the legionnaire so the first one is going to be pointing at the javelin uh, there this one if i arrange and transform it i can rotate it and then we can have that one pointing at the helmet uh, this one we can have it pointing at the sword and i can stretch it out as easily as that uh, this one here i'm going to flip it and this one can be pointing at the dagger this time i need to drag it out that way and then we've got the uh, sandals here so we can have that pointing there maybe make that a bit shorter and just slide that over so we've got enough room for the word and then the last one here was for the armor so again i'm going to rotate that and it can come here so if we want to make sure that there's enough room just move that down a bit and maybe move the dagger label down so obviously we can add extra labels uh, extra uh, text boxes there so we could do the shield and so on as well but we're ready to go really now so in presentation mode the students wouldn't be able to mess with the arrows or the image because i haven't given them a job to do but they would be able to come and pick up the labels and start to have some fun identifying the features on this roman legionary and that's how to make an interactive diagram.